What's up guys, in this video I'm going to finally explain the point of no return, which is the point in the interaction that if you do not sleep with a girl, you will not get a second date. So I'm going to be honest, I was a bit apprehensive about making this video for a while because all it takes is one idiot to misinterpret their information, so I'm going to give several caveats. However, there were so many people who were asking me about this question, who were posting stuff in the forum saying, yo man, blah blah blah, I don't understand what happened here, and I was like, point of no return man, and they were like, what the fuck is that? That felt like I needed to clarify this, right, because a lot of people don't understand what this is. So I want to be very clear about something, nothing in this video is licensed to be pushy, aggressive or force a girl into doing anything that she doesn't want to. I am very clearly not saying that you should ever, ever do that. That is illegal and highly unethical, right? I'm just simply explaining upon a very interesting paradox that exists when it comes to courtship and seducing a woman. It's called the point of no return. So what this means is it's the point in the interaction that if sex does not happen either that night or the next morning, you have an extremely high chance of never seeing the girl again because she will backwards rationalize that she's no longer interested in you. So this, this point in the interaction will actually vary based on the girl. For most girls, it's gonna be somewhere between second and third base. It's usually gonna be if the girl goes home with you, right? Maybe you're on your bed and then sex doesn't happen, right? Typically those situations end with a girl saying, oh, sorry, I just wasn't feeling the chemistry over text a few days later. However, with some girls, that point is a little bit earlier. With some chicks who are a lot more conservative, that point could even be at a makeout, right? You make out with a girl, but you don't sleep with her. Uh, she might be like, oh yeah, you know, I just, uh, I just don't think we're compatible, right? What really that means is that you hit the point of no return. So why does this happen? Let's explore the psychology behind this. Hey, if you guys are enjoying the content on this channel, then make sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe, and click that bell for notification. So basically, every woman is, or at least most women, there's of course exceptions to everything. There's gonna be some women who don't have a point of no return, right? Those do exist, and those are becoming a little bit more common nowadays as, you know, sex, thoughts on sexuality have evolved. However, the point of no return still very much exists for most women, right? And so women have a little bit of shame and apprehension around sex, right? And so when they like a guy, they almost give like this window, right? They're like, you know what? I'm open to doing this, right? This happens on a subconscious level. Now, if the guy cannot capitalize on that, what happens is they go home and they backwards rationalize saying, you know, I was interested, but it didn't happen. It must be because we're just not meant to be. It must be because we don't really click. It must be because we don't have a connection. It must be because we're not looking for, we're looking for different things, right? Backwards rationalization in situations like that will be very, very strong. Conversely, if you do have sex with her, she's gonna go home and backwards rationalize and think, wow, I usually don't do this, but we had sex. It must mean because I really like the guy. It must be because we really had a connection. It must be because, you know, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you know, again, assuming that you're not being like pushy, like if you pressure a girl into having sex with you, she has sex with you, obviously she's gonna regret it and you're not gonna have a second date. That should all go without saying. So the point of no return is gonna really vary based on the girl. Again, the more conservative and the more, you know, let's just say sexually awkward a girl is, the earlier the point is gonna be. But once you hit the point of no return, right, once you get that window, and typically that is gonna be when the girl goes home with me. So the situations that are the most, let's just say, iffy in terms of getting a second date is if the girl goes home with you, but then nothing happens, or maybe you guys make out, but sex doesn't happen, because those will quite often end in the girl backwards rationalizing that she's just not that into you, right? So then what's the solution, right? You know, what do you do if you bring a girl home and she's like, you know, she, you're trying to make things happen, but then she's like a little bit apprehensive. So obviously you do want to, you know, give the girl a little bit of space, you want to give the girl time, but you do want to be once you enter the point of no return, you do want to basically go for it. Again, you don't want to pressure the girl, you don't want to, you know, you know, be pushy or anything like that, but you do want to put your cards on the table. And if that doesn't happen at that point, then so be it, at least you tried. But I think the mistake a lot of guys make is they bring a girl home and then they just give up or they don't try or they think that, you know what, uh, I'll just wait until the next one. But the problem is they've entered the point of no return and they don't get a second date. And this is something I personally experienced time and time and time again. And this is something that everyone literally who's in the game in the seduction community who even goes on dates with girls has experience. It happens, it's real, and you wanna be very careful with the point. Now, if you think that, for example, you're on a date with a girl and you're like, you know what, there's no way we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna have sex with her tonight because maybe she's not ready, maybe we don't have the time, then you're better off actually not bringing her home and not having that awkward situation where you guys sit on the couch and just planning it to, you know, meet up with her and sleep with her on the second date, right? You're better off not entering that point of no return. But once you do enter it, you either gotta go all the way or chances are you're not gonna see her again. 
All right, hopefully you guys found this video valuable. And just to be clear, you have entered the point of no return with this video. So the only thing you can do now is smash the like button, hit subscribe, and click the bell for notification. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.